Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. Today, I have six creamy, nourishing, moisturizing serums, perfect for winter, perfect for cold and icy temperatures, and I've got something in here for every skin type. If you're so ready to find out all about these creamy serums, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So first up, I want to talk about the Derma E Skin De-Stress Calming CBD Serum. Now, this is a serum that claims to calm irritation and to help reduce redness on the skin. And it's really focused on those who may have itchy, red, inflamed skin due to eczema, from rosacea, psoriasis, or even just really, really dry skin. Any type of skin that's ailing, I think that this is gonna be good for. And I think this really does serve skin types that are more on the combination side, leaning towards the dry side. So hero ingredients include cannabis oil, and we also have cannabidiol, which I like to think about as what uh, matacasicide is to centella, right? Matacasicide is the um, active compound in centella. Well, so is cannabis cannabidiol to CBD. This is the active compound found within CBD that is most responsible for its benefits. And when you apply CBD on top of your skin, because you may think this is just like a trend that like really isn't beneficial. That's actually what I used to think too, because I think CBD is great when you ingest it. It's got a great relaxing, calming effect. It can help with pain, but it actually has an effect applied topically to the skin too. A lot of research actually suggests CBD helps with uh, inflammation. Uh, inflammation with muscles and joints. You can put it um, on painful muscles and joints from like working out or from um, athletics. It actually helps to relieve that type of pain topically but it can also help with skin disorders, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, atopic dermatitis. These are all conditions that can benefit from CBD because of its strong anti-inflammation property. The other hero ingredient in here is pycnogenol, which is also known as Pinus Pinaster Bark Extract. And you know this is one of my favorite antioxidants like ever. It is so, so beneficial. It's very protective for your skin. It helps to protect against photo damage from the sun. It can actually help to increase your skin hydration. There's some research that suggests it may help with fine lines and wrinkles and maybe even collagen. But what I love Pinus Pinaster Bark Extract for is its intense calming effect on the skin. So the texture of this product is like the whole inspiration for this lineup of products. The reason I wanted to film this video because this is a truly creamy serum. You know, serums tend to have like a watery element to them or like a gel element. And even when they're moisturizing, sometimes they feel more like a hybrid. This is purely a cream serum, which is so nice when your skin is feeling really dry and irritated. You really wanna pack in all the moisture because that's what really helps to soothe and comfort your ailing skin. It just melts down into your skin into this really nice lighter layer. It's still rich. It still has a moisturization factor to it. I would even say there's a, maybe a hint or like a whisper of hydration, but mostly what you're feeling is that comforting nourishment on your skin without greasiness. It has a rich feeling, but it's like inside of your skin. It's not on the outside of your skin. It doesn't have like a greasy look to it. Like you might've been thinking it, it was for just based on the texture. There's no greasiness to this. It just does all that moisturization inside of your skin while still feeling light, while still feeling like you could put something else on top of it. If you wanted to do some oil or a moisturizer or want to slug on top of it, you absolutely can do that because it's not overwhelming. It's just, They've just really done a really good job with this from the texture to the experience, to the ingredients, to the benefits. It really does help to calm down your skin. I was waiting to to really give this a full testing period because the timing wasn't quite right. It was summer, my skin was more combination, but now that it is like winter temperatures, it's icy, it's snowy, it's windy, it's cold, my skin is dry my skin loves this. It is just that comforting blanket of soothing, calming, anti-inflammation goodness in a creamy serum texture. Beautiful. Next up, I want to talk about the KTW Nourishing and Firming Ampule. This is going to be my suggestion for people who want to add some moisture into their skincare routine, but don't want to go full-blown oils. They won't want to go really, really heavy moisturizer. You just want to add a little bit in without overwhelming your skin. 
this is my pick for you. So the hero ingredients include 73% of rice bran water. Now the benefits here are going to be similar to rice extract. It's a great moisturizing, nourishing, skin conditioning ingredient that is not heavy. That's what I've always liked rice for as an ingredient. It brings that comforting nourishment to your skin, but it just doesn't have that greasy feel or that like thick feel to it. It always has a breathability and a lightness to it and then always leaves your skin really soft. So the water is slightly more diluted version of the extract. So you're still going to get those benefits, um, but it's really helped along with the other ingredients here. The Arbitin in here is a great brightening ingredient. There's a little bit in here, so you should expect as you continue to use a serum like this that you will get some complexion benefits. But really where the nourishment comes in with this serum is the 8% of oil. Now, I told you, this is like an alternative to oil. It's a lighter version. And when I show you the texture, you're gonna understand this because there's a lot of oil in here, but it's just been blended and balanced and formulated in this really beautiful way that doesn't feel heavy or greasy. So there's some really great oils in here though. We have canola, jojoba, sunflower, meadow foam seed oil, and argan oil. All right, let me show you the texture because this is some type of magic. <laughs> <laughs> looks do deceive on this serum. When you first get it out, you're like, wow, it is a pure, white, thick, milky serum. Like this is truly, if you ever were imagining like a pure creamy serum in your mind, this would be it, right? When you first get it out onto your skin, you're gonna be like, I don't know, this looks like it's gonna be really, really moisturizing. And then you start to work it into your skin and you see right in front of your eyes, this milky creaminess just blends down into almost more of that like creamy gel, watery hybrid. It absorbs really beautifully into the skin and then you just feel this little bit of moisture. It's not like an oil. There's a high oil content in here, but again, it's been beautifully balanced and blended and formulated just the right way to give you the nourishment, to give you the benefit of the oil and the, the comforting, soothing moisture of the oil without the thickness, without the greasiness, without the, the, the richness to it. It's just a little bit. And surprisingly, it doesn't have a shiny finish. It absorbs into the skin so, so well, hydrates a little bit of plumping, a good amount of moisture that doesn't feel thick. I don't know how they did this. Like, I have no idea how they did this, but like <laughs> KTW, like they really, they really did something special here. And if you've ever wanted the benefit of oil without the thickness, I think that this could be a good one for you. Next up, Glow Recipe, Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. Now I think this is best for people who want the best of both worlds. You want creamy, nourishing moisture. You want juicy, plumping hydration, and you want it perfectly blended 50-50 in one product. If you're seeking for that, this is gonna be the right solution for you. This is such a beautiful blend of two worlds. So hero ingredients here include the avocado oil, which is a deeply nourishing oil for very dry skin. It's been balanced out in this really nicely, but just know that that's a very moisturizing um, omega-9 fatty acid oil, so good for dryness on the skin. We also have rice bran oil. We talked about rice a little bit with the KTW, they're using water um, in the glow recipe they're using the oil version so it's a little bit more concentrated you're getting more of that that moisturization but remember it's on the lighter side so we're seeing that balance between the, the real thick moisturizing avocado oil and the slightly lighter rice bran oil really nice balance ceramides it's in the name you should expect to see it in the ingredients list we do have three different types of ceramides plus cholesterol and we're getting fatty acid content from the oils that we just talked about you can see that it's creamy it's hydrating it's almost like an emulsion type of texture i am such a sucker for these textures they feel so good on my skin but you can see the moisturization in here you can see the hydration just from um, pumping it out onto your skin it absorbs like a dream it really it just it like absorbs in your skin so nicely it's juicy and hydrating it does give you that little plumping factor but then there's the moisture factor 
the balancing factor to this. It doesn't feel greasy. For avocado oil being so deeply moisturizing and maybe even kind of a greasy oil, it's been formulated in just the right way here where it's really contributing the moisture but it's not contributing a ton of richness and greasiness. It is a restrained amount and so you get first deep hydration, plumping, and then second you start to feel it just like like moisturize your skin and, and hug it in moisture that's breathable, that's light, that's non-greasy, that's not shiny or sticky at the top, and your skin just feels plump and, and breathable, but it's moisturized at the same time. It's balanced at the same time. I love that. Next up is the Polish Choice Omega Plus Complex Serum. Now this is gonna be my choice for those who want a creamy serum that strengthens the moisture barrier because that's what this serum is all about. So the hero ingredient here is the big focus on the omega-6 fatty acids. Now if you caught my recent um, oil video where I talk all about how to use oil right, what to look for, I do touch on the topic of omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acid in oil and how you you can use that fatty acid profile to help pick the right oil for your skin. And what I told you in that video is oils that are high in omega-6 fatty acid are great for strengthening your skin's moisture barrier. Now the fatty acid composition, it's just one of many things that make up oils, right? But it is something that you might want to think about if you are on that barrier strengthening journey. Maybe you damaged your barrier and you're just looking to heal and repair your skin. Think about oils that are rich in omega-6 fatty acid or skincare like this one that's rich in omega-6 fatty acid because that goes a long way to strengthening and repairing your skin barrier. Now here in the ingredients list, you're also going to see the other great ingredients like three types of ceramides. We have cholesterol in here. There's a lot of great emollient ingredients in here. All of the different oils have a great fatty acid profile really focused on strengthening the skin. So the texture here is very similar to the Derma E, but I actually find it to feel Feel a little bit more moisturizing and a little richer on the skin. I think solely due to the amount of oil in here, it's not greasy. I promise you it's not greasy, but it definitely has more of that, that slip and that moisture richness in it that you can feel as it absorbs into your skin a lot more than Derma E had. And maybe just a little hint of hydration to this as well, but I think truly a pure cream serum here. I think it has great absorption. It just kind of like melts into the skin really nicely. I think this feels kind of medium weight on the skin. I don't think it's light, but I don't think it's heavy either. I think it's just like right in the middle. It still feels breathable and especially I'm recommending this for skin that is more combination going towards the dry side because we do have a richer content of oil here. I think it's more nourishing, more moisturizing, and I think that it's great if you are dealing with dryness maybe due to retinoid use or chemical exfoliation. I mean, this is the type of moisture that comforts and soothes your skin and then delivers all of those great barrier strengthening ingredients into your skin as well. So a really great choice if you are working on your moisture barrier. Next up is Neod Modulating Glucoside Serum. Of course, you know I love this. I talk about it all the time, and if I can fit it into a video, I'm going to. And if we're talking about creamy, dreamy serums, this is like my OG. You know, I really love the texture of this so, so much. And it's similar um, to the Glow Recipe where I was talking about that perfect emulsion texture of moisture and hydration in this beautifully balanced texture. That's how I feel about this serum. So I think it's gonna be great for um, skin that is seeking for balance, that's seeking for the best of both worlds. But the secret sauce to this particular formula is that it really helps when your skin is irritated, when it's burning, when it's stinging, when it's itching. This actually brings a lot of immediate relief to irritated skin. It can help to reduce redness on the skin, but it's also a healthy skin uh, serum. It's a little bit different than the Polish Choice. It's not just about focusing on barrier strength ingredients, but it does have a huge focus on hydrating amino acids and lots of antioxidants to really help protect the skin. So I love this runny, milky, watery, mustard texture. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds gross. I promise you it feels awesome on the skin, but it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? It definitely does, but oh, I 
love this because it's that creamy moisture and that that burst of hydration so you get that that immediate sense of deep hydration that kind of it even kind of plumps your skin just a little bit that deep hydration that like the refreshing like relief that it brings to your skin if it is ailing if it is itchy or inflamed you do feel this like oh, sensation like if you've ever put this on a patch of eczema whoa it's like finally relief so it brings all of that to your skin and then we get that cream element that just feels like again like I was saying before like it hugs your skin it comforts and soothes your skin but it doesn't feel like it's coating your skin in thick oil or like that like waxy kind of feel sometimes that you can get with moisturizing skincare it doesn't have that it still has that plump bouncy breathable juicy feel to it with just that little bit of moisture that hugs all that hydration in it's the best of both worlds it feels so good but like i was saying it goes one step further than glow recipe because it really has that immediate calming sensation when your skin is really irritated if you are suffering from itchy eczema or inflamed rosacea or psoriasis this formula really really helps to calm that down it helps to protect your skin it helps to hydrate and moisturize it all at the same time and finally stradia liquid gold yes is it a serum is it an emulsion is it a moisturizer is it a treatment yes <laughs> it is actually all of those things this is such a multi-purpose type of product and I do usually use it like a second serum or as an emulsion a lot of people use it as a moisturizer but I do know a lot of people use it as a serum and I do think it, it deserves a place in this video because at least in my skincare journey this is the first creamy serum that I've ever used so this is my choice for people who are really focusing on their moisture barrier again I do believe that this is so skin strengthening this is great if you're on retinoids if you're using a lot of chemical exfoliation but also if your skin is feeling damaged if it's feeling weak if it's feeling winterized if it's feeling really dry and flaky this is actually a great formula that I believe is a bit richer a bit more moisturizing than the polish choice so if you feel like you would benefit for, from something that has more moisture more creaminess to it I think that this is gonna be the best choice for you so let's go over the ingredients. Of course, we've got three different types of ceramides. We have cholesterol. We have fatty acids that are coming from the oils that are in here, and they actually do have a high content of omega-6 fatty acid. Remember, the barrier-building omega fatty acid. We also have phytosphingosine, which is one of my favorite ingredients to find in barrier-strengthening products. We also have 4% of niacinamide. Now, this is a great percentage to have in this serum slash moisturizer slash multi-purpose treatment, right? The reason why is that niacinamide, while we know it for brightening, we know it for collagen stimulation, it can also stimulate, guess what? Ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. It can stimulate your own synthesis of those ingredients that actually make up the majority of your skin barrier. I've just always respected the, the way that this has been crafted, the way it's been formulated and put together. I think, you know, Stradia always says that they're obsessively researched. I believe that to be very, very true. All of their products are put together with a lot of thought and care, a lot of research. They just make sense. This product saved my moisture barrier. You know that's why I'm always talking about it, why I'm so loyal to it, because it just it's never done me dirty you know what I mean it's always served my skin so so well and if this if this video is about moisturizing if it's about creaminess this has it in the texture wow this is speaking of mustard this is my other mustard texture I'm really selling these products to you the texture is a classic cream texture it is really really moisturizing it really nourishes the skin there's such a, a a richness to this and out of all the serums we talked about i do believe this to be the most moisturizing and the most rich on the skin and it really the oils are 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 playing full out in this serum where in some of the other serums they're they're in the background they're restrained the oils are playing full out here and i love it because it's so nourishing but the the weight of this is actually not heavy at all they've really figured out the texture to get it to absorb in the skin really nicely to bring all that oil and that moisture and that richness in a 
thinner layer on the skin. This doesn't feel really thick and oppressive. And in fact, it doesn't have a ton of occlusivity, which is why I think so many of us love to use this as a serum. We love to layer underneath another moisturizer because the occlusivity is just very minimal here. It's just enough to hug things in, um, but it's not so much that it really seals your skin off. And I think that's another reason why some people who don't like that quality use this as a moisturizer because it has all the amount of moisture that you want. Um, so it's just about, I think, what you prefer. It really is a multi-purpose product. I wanted to include it on the list though because like it really does help to strengthen up your moisture barrier. It does function as a creamy serum or as a lightweight moisturizer. Are you ready for colder weather? <laughs> I am, I'm ready because I have all of these creamy serums. I hope this video helped you out. And I'm curious, is there anything else you wanna know about cold weather skincare? Is there a video you think that I can do that will help you on your journey? Let me know in the comment box below. If you love this video, you watched it all the way through, you haven't hit subscribe yet, please, I would be so honored if you would take one moment before you go to hit subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of videos just like this one all about skincare and I also do full length videos and shorts so you may turn on notifications too so you're never out of the loop. I really hope that you are healthy, that you are happy, that you are safe. I'm so glad you were with me today and I love you so much. I'll see you soon.